It's freaking freezing. Good day here in Park City, starting off the New Year's with a vlog. Excuse me, Morgan. Excuse me. Hi. We are freezing and it is cold here in Park City. I got these two little Aussies. We're going to breakfast <sighs> December 31st. What is your New Year's resolution? Do you have any? Not yet. You don't have any? Do you have any? Not yet. I need to think of some. Yeah. Just pay for parking right now. That's what Morgan's doing. And eat. <laughs> and eat. Yeah, speaking of that, we're going to an Australia. We're taking the Aussies to an Australian cafe here in Park City. Look at it, how beautiful it is today. Last night, Main Street was popping. Today, we're gonna go eat a little Aussie brekkie. Coffee, food, people. Usually I like to start my day in that order. Nice. What hat you wearing here? Ring is she thinks She thinks she's a cowgirl. <laughs> Morgs, what you drinking? What you got there? Um, almond, almond latte. Almond latte and ooh. My little flat white. Take me back to Oz. <laughs> My hand looks really massive on that tiny cup. You did get the smallest one here. I'm pretty mm. sure my hot chocolate one. Oh, back that's <laughs> delicious. No, flat whites are usually pretty tiny. Thank you. Uh, just like they do it back home, hey? It does look exactly like the food back home. It does? <laughs> yeah, it's the brioche part. The breakfast brioche. Ooh. Actually, that looks pretty good too. I know. <laughs> this is the BLTA with uh, with an egg on it. So can't go wrong with either, I think. But yet this is like we're back in what? What's your little favorite place in Cambridge Lane? Cambridge Lane. Shout out to Cambridge Lane. All right. Big discussion here. Do you guys prefer American crispy bacon or explain Australian bacon? It's soft. It's soft. It's a bit salty. Kind of like a slab of ham. It's floppy. No, it's not fluffy. It's cooked like bacon. But it's, it's thicker. thicker. But it's thicker. And medium. Which one do you prefer? That's Just That's a pins? I think I like this. Yeah? Oh. Oh. One for American <laughs> bacon from mom. Cold morning, but beautiful. Park City actually does not have very much snow. It's such a cool spot. Breakfast? What do you guys give breakfast out of 10? Eight. Eight and a half out of 10. All right. But if I had yours, probably a nine. Mine was good. Such such cute pups around here too. So we're just gonna give you guys some sick B roll. Even the dogs in sick B roll Park City here. You would look good in that. Would you wear that to the gym, or would you wear that at? Would you? Now that we're not with Gym Shark anymore. Your bum would look very cute in those. It would. Yes, you guys heard me. Morgan and I, no longer with Gymshark. Had a great run with them, great people, great company, but we are no longer, I like the green, it's more you. More to come on that. Don't wanna talk about it in this video because we got so many other things to do and talk about. I, I feel like I'm a dad capturing little moments of a child, like <laughs> mom's first snowman. Hey, Olaf. That's a sad little snowman, it really is. There's just not much snow up here. He needs he hasn't it. Been enough. He needs it to snow. Last year, the snowman would have been ten foot, what? ten feet tall. Out on a little walk, taking the dogs out. Just cold enough for some of the snow to stick around. The dogs are, I'm sure, wondering what the heck it is. But I think you know, New Year. Everyone's talking about goals always, and I think. It can be overplayed. People set unrealistic, especially when it comes to the gym, when it comes to being healthy. And I've kind of thought long and hard about, you know, this year, what do I want 2024? It's gonna be a monumental year. Like so many things coming down the pipeline. Um, some scary things. Gymshark no longer being part of, of something that I was a part of for almost the better part of a decade. Gonna be having a more hands-on approach with the gym in St. George, continuing to grow the fitness culture app, and then potentially moving into a new house while we wait to build a few more things that I can't talk about yet that within the next month or two we'll be announcing. But the biggest things I wanna be is consistent. Even if it's just showing up every single day, having a schedule, consistency will always trump intensity. That motivation comes and goes, but habits and consistency and having a good schedule will always be your best friend when you start talking about changes that you wanna make. And then being authentic, authentically me, and that means not being a people pleaser, being authentic to my true self and what it is that I want for, for me in life, for my family, for my career, from all of these things. And I think it's getting back to serving other people. And then lastly, the third thing, 
living in the present, I think for so long, I've, I always talk about like, you can't train with the mindset of I'll be happy when I lose weight or when I gain muscle. You have to be happy in the now. And I feel like I got in a bad habit when Morgan was in Australia of having so much anxiety thinking about the future and what I wanted. And I'm the type of person like I want things to be perfect. You know, I want to move into the perfect house or I want a perfect setup or I want to live in the perfect place and I can sit and I can overanalyze things and definitely have dealt with some major anxiety in 2023. And I think a lot of it stems from not being living in the present, like not being, not being here in this moment right now. And yes, my job is online and a lot of it is uploading YouTube videos, but getting back to it again, if I'm authentically me, and that might mean showing you guys the ups and downs and some of the anxiety that I've been, been going through and, and getting older. And again, for me, it's trying to make everything too perfect around me rather than, you know, just keep swimming, like Finding Nemo. I love that quote, just keep swimming. Be consistent, just keep swimming, show up every single day and good things will happen. So it's kind of, kind of be my motto. Um, couldn't sleep last night was up until 4.30 and you know, I wanted to start vlogging every day just for the first two weeks in January to see how it was going, see if I could build a habit around it. So this is kind of like that first step, only committing to two weeks here. Um, you guys are gonna see a lot more of the business side of things, um, a lot more of the personal side of things. Still will be a lot of fitness stuff because um, I have some serious fitness goals as well. 39 years old, it's gonna be the biggest year of our lives. All right, we're doing it. Our little, our little funny hill over there with the orange lights. It is See, absolutely chilly out here. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, they're chilly. going pretty quick. <laughs> so good. Have you ever teed before, babe? Hi. Hey. I'm so excited. We're gonna freeze, but it's gonna be awesome. As long as we can get Morgan some hot chocolate here, <laughs> True. we'll be good. I like this little single here. Just nice and chill. <laughs> She, she says that's so not chill. <laughs> Should we start on that? Hey, one? No. You guys look so cute boot. though in your snow oh, you gear. Yeah, yeah. Is this like the slowest one, this first one? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. That's, I think it's just go, a single. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just a single one. Hey, you're you're looking good though. You guys are looking the part. <laughs> nice. That's actually kind of weird. What do you think, Sonny? <laughs> <laughs> They don't let you walk on this, but I'm determined to just scoop my way up. I'm not gonna lie, living in St. George where it's super warm all the time, has me a baby in the cold. It is freaking cold here. And it's not even like that cold for a Park City winter yet. It's probably maybe 30, 32, 33 degrees out here. It'll get to like minus five. Shred in the gnar. Do something cool, do something cool, don't fall. You're on YouTube. Oh, nice job. A lot harder than I thought, yes. Yeah. Are you meant to be touching the bottom of your bum? Yeah. All right, here we go. You're fine. <laughs> She's so weird. Just... We want to spin, yeah. Oh, not me. Ah, Just on. do it. She needs to get over it. Race to the bottom. Last race of the night. Best friends force the battle to the death. Best friends force to do battle. <laughs> Mr. Stephen Ryan Cook in lane two. Morgan Rose Cook in lane one. Sonia, Sonia Jacqueline Maroney in lane three. Who you guys got your bets on? Una does. Me. Chez. What are we thinking? Let's freaking go. I think we're going to go at the same time because he has to push us down. That's the problem. Oh, you guys are oh, yeah. scared. <laughs> okay, last run, best run. I did win the race. Morgan even had a head start, but now we're gonna do a little, a little together to get so happy together. I can't see me love nobody but you for all my life. Ready for this? Stunning. You and me. And me and you. Nobody. <laughs> I don't know how it goes. All right, well, we're gonna end the vlog after this last run. 
We have about, I don't know, four hours till the ball drops. I'm probably not gonna make it there because I didn't sleep much last night. Hopefully tonight it's gonna be a good night's sleep and we can start the new year off with a bang. I'm going to the gym in the morning. Are you coming? No. Nah. Nar? Nah. Maybe. Nar? Nah. Jimmy going there. Oh, I'm just gonna find one. Yeah. Last run. Here we go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Run, best run, babe. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> Ready? Ready? <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> you keep slipping. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought my. I guess I tried to do it all through the bushes. That was really sweet, uh, but it just didn't work. All right, we're gonna share a quick kiss <laughs> for New Year's. Happy New Year! Happy New 